And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Eddie Rowe. Okay, here I am with Eddie Rowe. Um, Eddie trains out of the Fight Hub in Derbyshire and he's coming for his second fight on Fight UK tonight. Eddie, how you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Excellent. Um, obviously, this is your second fight on Fight UK. Um, obviously, last time didn't go your way, so you're looking for the victory this time. Tell me a bit more. Tell me a bit about your training and, and how you've prepared. Looking to do a bit more stand-up on this one and not take it to the ground too much. If the option comes, uh, I do get a submission, then that's fair enough, but it's trying to stay on my feet. Pretty much. And, and from what you said before, before we started filming there, it's more or less you're looking to put a, put on a show for the yeah, crowd, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, obviously during your during your last fight, there was a lot of on the ground and there was a there was a there was a bit there was a there was a bit of noise coming from the crowd. Obviously, some of the people in the crowd don't appreciate the finer skills of the jiu-jitsu game. So you've come out tonight. You're looking to put somebody down on the backside uh, with a big right hand to try and uh, to try and uh, get get a bit win the crowd over, as it were. Yeah, yeah. The jiu-jitsu is going to be plan B of this one. Pres Positional striking, pretty much best way to go. Excellent, excellent. Well, listen, uh, all that's really left to say, Eddie, is uh, best of luck for this evening, mate, and we look forward to seeing you in the cage right, later. Thank you. And his opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Luke Mulhall. Okay, here I am with Luke Mulhall. Luke trains out of Pariah in Birmingham. He's 1-0, and, and his uh, single victory came on a previous Fight UK show, and tonight he is fighting in our fifth contest. Uh, Luke, how are you doing today, mate? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very well indeed, thanks. Uh, big smile on your face there, Luke. You look like you're looking forward to tonight. I'm excited for it, yeah, very much. Good man, good man. Well, look, 1-0, and all, currently undefeated. Obviously, you're looking to continue that. Mm -hmm. What kind of training have you been going through? Is it, uh, have you done anything, any special preparation? I just wanted to be like more committed to this camp than I was on the last one and I was quite a weight on my weight so I had to diet for quite a while now so I've been really strict with it and just working really hard with all the lads prior and stuff. Good good. Yeah. Well, physically you look in quite good shape and, and mentally you sound very very confident and like I say I always like to see people with a big smile on their face. Um, obviously you're looking forward to continue uh, that winning streak. Mm -hmm. um, where would you like the fight to go tonight? Are you happy for it anywhere or would you prefer to get the knockout? For me obviously I prefer the knockout or something entertaining but I'm comfortable where it goes I don't, really don't mind. Excellent, excellent. Well again that's all part and parcel of your confidence. Yep. Looks like you're brimming with it so all that's left to say mate is best of luck for tonight and we look forward to seeing you later. Cheers bud. Fighting out of the blue corner he hails from Burton on Trent. He's 22 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. He fights out of Fight Hub and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one loss. Let's hear it for Eddie Rowe. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Coventry. He's 23 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 155 pounds. He fights for Team Pariah and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Luke Amalhall. This contest is fought over three three-minute rounds. OK, back in with the amateur action. Scheduled three three-minute rounds in the red corner. Luke Mulhall fighting out of the Pariah gym. He's wearing the red shorts. In the blue corner, Eddie Rowe, black shorts on. Rowe fighting out of the fight hub. Mulhall coming in 1 and 0. Rowe coming in 0 and 1. Big overhand shots from Rowe. Spinning back kick. Mulhall sees it coming and steps inside the range. Looks for a hip toss, doesn't get it. Big Massive slam. slam. Huge slam there. Rowe's feet just dusted the inside of the Athena Arena here in the ceiling. So Mulhall looking to isolate the arm as well. Rowe climbing the cage wall. He's going to have one shot of that to burst out. There it is. It works. Doesn't give his back up, but Mulhall is up, postured up, open guard, standing, all 5 foot 11 inches of him, throwing down the lever. Nice hammer fist there around the back and then straight down with the, the left hand. Mulhall really dominating here from top position, but credit to Rowe, he's still fighting. He's got to be careful of not staying too still in any one position. If Mulhall can posture up, we've seen he's got those big shots. You're right. He's carrying a height advantage, 5 foot 11. So when he postures in that open guard position, big shots come down and it's very difficult to defend. 
So pace slowing down a little bit. We can hear Mohol's corner advising him to uh, relax and calm down. He has scored the takedown, he's dominated. So in terms of round domination, you know, he's he's on top there. And here we can see forearm rape choke coming in as Rowe claims full guard. And again, look, Mohol just stepping over. There's that hammer fist again, Ben. It's been a good weapon for him that he's able to land it from some kind of unorthodox positions, half in, half out of the guard, and now the punches come raining down. As once again, maybe looking for a triangle from the top if he can set it, or maybe he can isolate the arm. Is he going for a Peruvian necktie triangle choke? Right, right. Triangle win. That is on. Just needs to push that arm across, pull down on the head. The arm's not through yet, but will we see transition to armbar? No, he's passed the arm, the arm's down in. That's deep, Row right. passes over, seated. Triangle, he's defending the triangle. Mulhall doesn't care, he's striking. You defend that triangle, I'm not bothered. Well, this is a very tough spot. He's thinking about tapping, and there's there the tap. Is. There it is. Great finish there from Luke Mulhall, really dominated that. I thought he might have had the advantage standing up, but I, I like the fact that he was really versatile, and when it hit the bottom, he threw that triangle on, rolled it up, and that was all she wrote. Great performance there from Luke Mulhall. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner. And let's hear it for both fighters, come on. Fighters to the center, please. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 26 seconds of round number one, your winner due to a tap out by Triangle Choke from the red corner, Luke Amalhol. Well, let's hear it for a very gallant runner-up. Let's hear it for Eddie Rowe.